This topic is on solving quadratic equation. So remember that quadratic equation is anything in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. And this part is about it when it's equals to zero. Okay, so first you have down. Then you see that this question you is x to the power of 3. Okay, can you solve x to the power of 3 question? Yes, first you factorize x out from the equation and you are left with x bracket x square plus minus 9 equals to 0. So in math, if a mi multiplied by b is equal to 0, right? It means one thing. Either a is 0 or b is 0. Okay? So in this case, x is equal to 0 or x square minus 9 is equal to 0. Now, at sec 2, you have to know your algebraic rule number 3 very well. Because 9 is a square number, so this is x square minus 3 square equals to 0. a plus 3 equals to 0. Sorry, x plus 3 equals to 0. x minus 3 equals to 0. So again, we have two products equals to 0. It means that x plus 3 equals to 0 or x minus 3 equals to 0, which means I will have x equals to negative 3 or x equals to 3. So I have my three answers. Therefore, x equals to 0 or it must be the it must be an or. Alright, it cannot be an n. Or x equals to 3. Okay? So the thing about quadratic equation is we try to bring everything to one side and we equate it to equals to 0. Then we factorize it and tell, say that since the product is equal to 0, one of them must be equal to 0 and that's how we find the x. Okay? Then, sometimes you have to be very sensitive, or in fact, most of the time, you have to be very sensitive to square numbers. For example, sorry, 4x square and 9. Okay, 4x is 2x, the whole thing square. 9 is 3 square. Alright, and let's check our middle. Can it be in the form of a 2a, b? Mentally, I think 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 3, 12. They are the same. Okay? If I can break them into this guy is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Okay? What does it mean? So when I factorize, it will become 2x minus 3 squared equals to 0. If you are not comfortable with this, the normal factorization is also fine, or if you're still not very familiar with uh, your algebraic in this, uh, identities, go to the chapter on algebraic identities first before you come to here. Okay, and since that 2x minus 3 is square equals to 0, so which means that, sorry, 2x minus 3 equals to 0, 2x equals to 3, x equals to 3 over. Okay, so this is when you use your algebraic identity, algebraic rule number 2, to solve a quadratic equation. So now, most of the time, you are going to get a quadratic equation which is like this. So, you see that they always, sorry, they are multiples of 3. Always, before you do a quadratic equation, check whether you can factorize first, whether can you factorize something out. So in this case, because it's equal to 0, you can divide by 3. On both sides. This step you don't have to say. You don't have to write, but you can you can just immediately come up to 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 equals to 0. Okay? Now this you can only do this if there is an equals to 0 on the right side. If the question was let's say factorize 6x squared minus 9x plus 3, then your then this guy is equal to 3 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. Okay? You cannot take away the 3. But if it's equal to 0 on the left side, you can take away the 3. Alright? So once you take away, really, away the 3, you can either do your cross factorization or multiplication frame. So because most textbooks are now using multiplication frame already, okay, we will use multiplication frame as well. The multiply is here. Okay? So the first one, 2x squared is here and then positive 1 is here. Alright, now what times what will give you 2x squared? It will be 2x times x. 
and then because it's one, it's very easy to be one and one here. Now, however, we need to form. Be careful. You look here. We need to form a negative three x here. So basically, the numbers here will be negative. So this will be minus x, and this will be negative. So when you multiply, this will be minus two x. Your check here, okay, is equals to negative three x, which is the middle guy. All right. So if that's correct, then you can say that this multiplied by this, which means it is two x minus one, and then x minus one equals to zero. Okay, and then you have two x minus one equals to zero, or x minus one equals to zero. So x equals to half, or x equals to one. Okay. So if you are not very clear on this multiplication frame, so go back to algebraic factorization and go and relearn it again before you come to quadratic equation.